What a lovely day here today in North Wales. So today we're going to put these solar panels on the roof. Well, not these solar panels because you can't see them, but we're going to put solar panels on the roof. I'm currently just spraying the whole of the roof with this stuff. Auto Smart Red 7. And the reason for that is because from doing all the cutouts and everything else, you get loads of little bits of metal sticking into the paint and then they start to rust. This stuff frees it. Uh, it ch changes the colour of it. You can see, I sprayed a bit here, you can see it's changing like a bluey, purpley colour. That's all the little bits of metal. So we spray this on loop for 10 minutes and then, and then uh, rinse it off with some water. And we'll be moving on to fitting the solar panels. Roof is all clean and lovely, but I'm just deliberating on how I'm actually going to do this because, as we know, the roof's corrugated and these solar panels are going to go lengthways across like that or widthways. So, this is a cutout of the solar panel size. So, they're going to go like this. I'm a bit fussy with making sure things are really strong and tight and going to be there for a long time. I don't like... People say to just Velcro these on, which I've got some nice big Velcro. Got some chubby Velcro. But I really, I, I don't, I won't be happy with that because any wind coming under here, surely you could just lift that up at, you know, 80 mile an hour or, or whatever. So these big corrugations obviously going to cause a lot of trouble. We've got big Gorilla tape around the sides. Velcro and Sikaflex 252, which is meant to be the one that has the most movement dynamic for dynamic loads. And obviously, I'm thinking that would be the wind maybe kind of pulling on it a bit. I'm still concerned that this gap here is, is quite high, so I might find something to fill. I don't know how to fill it with, with a bit of ply, get some ply strip, fill these bits here and down the edges. Just where the wind can get under it. Um, I'll have a little mess about and see, and uh, you'll see next. I've got some some of this cladding that we're using for inside. Some of it's been broken because somebody stepped on it, so this the uh, the groove bit has all collapsed. So, handily enough, it's just about the right thickness to slide into here. Not quite as sunny today. But the solar panels are nearly finished. Along the front here is all sealed up. I'll probably put this gorilla tape along the, the front edge here. I'll probably do it all the way around actually to just to make sure no air gets in underneath. Cool. Won't be working today though. So I've had a couple of weeks off. Lots of things to do. A bit of snowboarding to have been had. Week long stag do. Just recovered from that now. Um, and I thought, well, I'm driving to London tomorrow and then we're going to go in this. Um, it's not exactly ready to stay in, but we're going to give it a trial anyway. Um, so I thought I'd get the head unit in so we'll have some tunes on the way down. Just feeding these phonos and phonos, rear camera, rear camera. Um, well, reverse gear sensor, wire, and remote cable, and I'm making it. I'm making a live from the leisure battery rather than having a live from the from the car battery. Uh, so I'm just doing all that now. Look how thick the ceiling is. I what all that insulation? And there's the sky. Look at that. Yeah. More temperature getting through there, eh? Oh yeah. Feels good. It feels good. What do you mean it's better than it looks? I just want to do this all day long. So I thought I'd do a little catch-up video. 
So again, I've been I've been away for a couple of weeks again, so I've not really had much uh, progress on the van. But I'll show you what we're doing so far. So we're at the cupboards stage still, uh, which we're now moving along to the top here. I'm going to have cupboards coming out over past the door a little bit, which isn't going to be a problem because the the kitchen unit's going to be even further out. But we just thought we'd get a bit more cupboard space. But to be honest, I don't know what I'm doing with these joins. I mean, I've just kind of stuck this on here. It seems strong enough. Cupboard's done. Apart from the doors, but it's all up and sturdy. Now a whole new challenge. I'm gonna move on to building the shelf above the cap and somehow get the old like carpety top to fit into it as well. So what I'm thinking of doing with this is having this roof section, ceiling section that was in previously, keeping that in underneath because you have the nice little slots to put maps and whatever else you want to put above your head. But then obviously taking advantage of this big storage space here. So and slot some wood in. I'm not sure if on top of here or in here. Probably in here seems seems like pretty sensible. And shape it to come back and along here and slit in here. And then I might need some support. Uh, but I've got some pretty thick ply, so it should be strong enough. But then the challenge is going to be cutting this to shape underneath so it doesn't look an arse. Looks like I've been jigsawing a rabbit. Okay, we'll call that phase one. Two. I don't know how many phases is going to be. Okay, we've got this bit up. Uh, it took a while to find the bolts because I had, well, I still haven't found the bolts, I just found some others. Um, so I've cut it just roughly for now, and then I'm going to be looking down the back here and measuring where the wood's going to go and cut it properly. The only way to measure, of course, cardboard. Cut a little bit too much off here, though, so. Gonna add a little bit on when we do the wood. Another cold morning here in North Wales, even though it's nearly May. So I've cut the shape out for the for the shelf that's gonna go above the cab. Got one piece of plyboard, one go at this. Uh, and it's pretty thick plyboard. It's uh, it's 18 mil, so it's it might not even need any any structural support. We'll see how it feels when it's up. Um, yeah, drawing some lines, doing some cutting. I just want to demonstrate these rib nuts um, because I think they're amazing. So I'm currently just putting these brackets up here, which is going to support the shelf. Uh, as you can see, it's nice and solid. Um, now these rib nuts work by uh, like, like a normal rivet; they get crushed and it pinches the sheet of metal in between there. So I'll just demonstrate one too. So I've pre-drilled some holes here already where the, the next bracket's gonna go. Uh, so we'll put that in. It's tight. Then you unscrew it. And it leaves me with, uh, and these particular ones are M uh, M6. So it leaves me with a nice M6. Um, thread that I can put a bolt into and have a real strong a real strong attachment. It's nearly May. <laughs> Having a little think in bed last night and realized that I had forgotten about the cupboards that are going up on the other side. So this morning I've had to pull this insulation down. Luckily I hadn't put any uh, cladding or anything up yet. Um, I'm currently just putting in my favorite rib nuts, trusty little rib nuts. Um, so I'll be able to put a batten um, all the way down there to attach the 
cupboard onto as we did with this side. So I've just been quitting this vent, the surround to fit into the fantastic fan with the jigsaw. Cut all the way around it, got to the end, and it's all melted back together. Like properly melted back together. Look at that. Jeez. Good morning. So again, I've had to have another week away from building the van. Uh, I've not really mentioned schedule much before, but I'm actually on a tight schedule. I've got a month now to get this done, as I've got, uh, I'm actually best man at uh, my mate's wedding down in the south of Spain, which is going to be the start, start of this trip. So, one month from now, get everything done, and I've just had to take a week off. I've been in hospital with Salmonella for a week, so that's put me back again. And to be honest, even before that, I was thinking, am I going to make this? So now, shit's really tight. I've made a little list of everything that's left to do. I mean, I had a list anyway, but, you know, printed it off and got it up on here. So it's in my face all the time. What are you making? A what? A bulkhead shelf. A bulkhead shelf? Thanks for watching. All links to products, materials, everything else that I've used will be in the description, along with some other little handy links. And then at the end of this really cool little outro thing, there's some info on the ebook. Cheers, guys.